So where did you get the six best sex positions to use toys? It was an article. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I obviously it, it was found, an article. but Yeah, it, I found it online, and um, there's there's something very funny about... Welcome to the Great Northern Sex Cast, by the oh, way. Yeah. There's something hysterically funny about it because it's... Um, is it that one? No, it's the seven lies. One of them was written by in in somebody in India, and they wrote it in English, though they are an Indian mm-hmm. author, because you know they want to be curated yeah. and they want to be tagged and you know whatever. Oh my God! Some of the verbiage and the seven <laughs> lies men tell you about sex. Those are it's just it's better than what the lies are. I mean, it's so funny. But yeah, I saw the the six best uh, positions. Um, I think it was on a British site. And I wanted to have you run through those and debunk them or endorse them. And and uh, we'll get there okay, in just enough. a minute. <laughs> so first off, um, Merry Christmas, Colleen Pertino. <laughs> Merry two days after Christmas. Woo! Woo-hoo, and, um, and happy coming <laughs> oh up. Oh, my New God. Year. The left um, thing just came, ear, ear, popped in. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I didn't even realize it. There How's we go. How's that? Is that better? Okay, yeah. Okay. Super good. Um, so yeah, the New Year's right around the corner. How, how was your holiday? Uh, I may not eat until next Christmas. Really? Wait, what is it about all holidays that are just about food? Oh. I mean, oh, I don't, I don't care what it is. Really, you just, you just, you, you sit and you eat until. And I mean, really, I mean, I wore stretch pants because I knew what was going to happen. Oh, sure, yeah, sure. I mean, you know, just, just shoved food into my face, and it was lovely. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure my niece um, still does the Santa Claus thing, the youngest one. And oh. so that was really fun. Oh, <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm like, oh, that. I think she's still. I'm like, cool. <laughs> and she's got much older brothers and sisters. So, you know, my sister had, you know, four kids and there was a break between two oh, yeah. and three. And so and it was really fun watching them go, well, let's, let's look at the Santa tracker. And I'm just like, oh, it's so cute. And it's nice that they didn't try to squish nope. it for her by nope. being little turds, no. you know? No, no, they're they are 19 and 20 and they just went with it. And it was Aww, really adorable. That is so cute. And, and even the 12-year-old just... Let it go. Didn't even wasn't even being a little shit. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Well, going back to your food thing, mm-hmm. I mean, don't you think it really goes back to like the ancient times where there were just feasts? Mm-hmm. Um, because you know there might be other times of the year where there isn't any fucking food around. Yeah. So <laughs> when you know <laughs> when we, you we celebrate, do. you go, yeah, that's what I think that can. And now you know that we've got you know twenty four seven grocery stores. We probably don't need to, but we still do. Mm-hmm. Oh. Sort of in our in our genes. Yeah, it was a really really super fun holiday. Um, there's a, there's some stuff uh, in the news that. You know, sometimes it takes it a little bit to catch up, and we have a a week break between shows. But there is a nativity scene in Spain. Did you see this? No, no. This one, I was you know flipping through the little <sighs> outline, and I'm like, okay, that one ran across, and that one ran, across, and I sent you that one. But and then I'm like, and I saw that one, and and I'm like, what the hell is a naughty nativity? Can you see this oh, okay. from there? I have to put on. My okay, glasses. she's got to put on her glasses. An artist painted these on dildos, and it's very traditional Spanish Catholic looking art of Mary, <laughs> Joseph, and the baby Jesus. And Do they have a fl- okay, those are dildos, not bub plugs, because it looks like they don't have enough flange on the bottom. Okay. N- the one, the little one with what looks like Jesus does look like a butt plug to me. Uh, oh, no, no, those are testicles. Oh, okay. Testicles. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's probably got it. a packer oh. uh, uh, thing for, for, uh, for passing. Got it, got it, got it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and actually the the paintings are really nice, but these were in the window of a sex shop in Spain. And, you know, that's kind of Catholic land. Um, and uh, the, the guy said, you know, I, I wasn't trying to be blasphemous. Um, he was given threats and everything else. But a lot of people were saying, you know, there is some you know, artistic stuff here. But I just, I don't know. I just think that staying away from the religious thing I, is probably a good idea. I tend to do it because there's just no winning. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm just not, I'm not a religious person. If, if, if folks want to have their own religion and not shove it on others, that's fine. But what's the point? I In, just don't. I mean, because I can, I mean, there are a whole bunch of dildos out there that are, and that, that have a lot to do with a whole bunch of different religions, not just um, Christianity. And I just don't, I just, I don't see the point. And I'm like, yeah, you know, to each their own, that's fine. But it just, there's nothing, you know, about, you know, like I said, you just, I don't think you win when you, you know, when you, when you do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just, you know, the thing is, is you may not agree with somebody's religion, but you certainly don't have to make the effort. This is how I see it mm-hmm. to step on it, yeah. even if it's not your thing, because mm-hmm. it's just asking for it, yeah. in yeah. my opinion. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, 
Here's another one of those things where you go, really? Um, but the good news is that the Santa Claus won. Um, okay. Okay. So I, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to start with that because when I start this whole thing, when I tell you it's going to, you're going to be like, really seriously, he had a ho ho license plate and he is Alabama and he literally has the real beard. I mean, he's the okay. guy that mm-hmm. just puts on the suit cause he looks the yes. part anyway. Um, and he had ho ho and they said, nope, we're going to rescind your plate and uh, you can't have it. So he launched a, uh, you know, a fight. Episode, yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, he won. So, oh, okay. yeah, I mean, I see it to some extent. Did, was it two hoes or three hoes? Just two. Just two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe somebody else already had a ho, ho, ho. Because you always think of it in threes. Yeah. So. Yeah. But I mean, come on, people. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to necessarily. I mean, there's there are people who of you know certain ages that may not even relate to the word "ho," yeah. other than from Santa. Yeah, I mean, I, I giggle. I mean, really, when I see the word, I do giggle because there used to be a bit when I worked out of the Renaissance Festival that somebody would yell the word "ho," and then one time we actually did yell "Who you calling a ho?" And occasionally that still pops out of her mouth, you know, like thirty years later. But oh, it yeah. just entertains her, you know. But I mean. I mean, obvi- I mean, no one's... I have a friend named Heidi who calls herself a Heidi Ho. Mm-hmm. And I think that's hysterical. And she, it's, she, it's her words, not yeah. mine. Uh, mm-hmm. Can I just tell you a couple of the other band plates, though, in Alabama? Mm-hmm. Come on, really? O-U-T-H-S-E, Outhouse. So? <laughs> so what? It would B-T-H-R-M be It, 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 it be doesn't band say, sh- you know, like S-I-T-E-R, you know, shitter. Yeah, shitter, yeah. <laughs> Here's another one. B R D P O O bird poo. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Somebody's got way too much damn time on their hands. Right? I mean, I understand. I mean, these, these are, I don't get it. I, I mean, there are lots of other things you don't want, like, you know, H A T fag. You know, I mean, right. you know, I mean, I, I can get that. I, I, I'm going to go with that one, but bird poo? I mean, if you want to, if you want to have bird poo on your, oh, okay. yeah, who wants bird poo on their car? This uh, yeah, person obviously, obviously does. It's I, a joke. I, okay, I have yeah. bird poo on my car. Yes. Like, ha ha. Yeah. On my plate. But here's one that they, they also banned. E-Y-E-H-A-U. I hate you. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, I know. Get your car keyed. <laughs> dumbass. Right? <laughs> Hi, oh. I'm an asshole. Key my car. But here's one. The ACLU um, defended a man in Oklahoma that wanted Kami, C-O-M-M-I-E. So don't know the outcome of that case yet, but Kentucky, a man was denied a request for the license plates that said, I'm God. <laughs> well, I, can start... <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I, I, I hadn't really thought about, um, you know, I, I, I thought about personalized plates, but I've never come up with something. I mean, like when I got my tattoos, just got two of them, I knew exactly what I wanted and it worked and stuff like yep. that. But honestly, I can't, there's nothing about a personalized plate that has ever said, that's it, that's what I want. Yep. But I have to admit, it's sort of like, I've got. That's hysterical. <laughs> that's so funny. But okay. My mom is a personalized plate. I won't, you know, mention what it is. And when all the stuff was going through this state of Minnesota, I'm like, I wonder if that's going to get flagged. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it didn't. I, mainly because I think it's an old term, and two, there's not an, you know, not enough Italians in, uh, in 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 the government to know what it means get, mm-hmm. in in this this very yeah. Scandinavian mm-hmm. state of affairs. Um, okay, Scotland. This this is just adorable and hysterical at the same time. There's been some really funny Twitter stuff over the last few you know days. Mm-hmm. Um, but the six year old boy was drawing the reindeer in the stable. Did you see this? No. Okay. No, the no, picture no. of this will be on the okay. Great Northern Sex Cast Facebook page. Um, Connie Bennett says her son was trying to depict you know Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, and all those guys inside of Chris Kringle's stable. But the animals looked up. Well, let me just show you what they looked like. And I can't see reindeer. But that's what they look like, okay? And right, okay, they look like little penises with antlers, okay? Yeah, I mean, it, basically, it, it was a, t- it's a, it's, it's an aerial, aerial view. So yeah. you're seeing like the back and then the antlers, but yeah, the, the antlers are really wide because they're, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so I, those those inadvertent penis drawings by by children, small children are, are just because. You know, they, to them, it's a reindeer. It's only us <laughs> skewed, and the rest skewed, is blah. you know, skewed, um, already, you know, uh, jaded, horrid little adult minds that we have come yeah. up with this crap. We're the one putting it on the kids. Right. Yeah. Who's childish here again? Yeah. yeah. And I, and just like, because I mean, people like, you know, panic, you know, you see little kids dancing and, and, and people are like, well, you can't show that. They're like moving their hips. Well, yeah, it's called 
dancing. Yeah. And if you see something weird on it, the problem's in your head, not with the kid. Yeah. You know, when you start doing those pageant things, we got a problem. But we're just talking about your ordinary kid. Someone shoots a video of their kid doing some really funny dance in the kitchen to like some weird song. And people are like, oh my God, oh my God. Like, no, it's a kid dancing in the fridge. It, 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 you know, it's fine. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's yeah. No, fine. settle mm-hmm. down. Get yeah. over it, everybody. <laughs> exactly. Um, so I don't know. I just thought that was so hysterical. But his mother, and you know, even in print, you can tell when somebody's from, you know, like the UK somewhere. Mm-hmm. And this, it have, I'm a bit surprised it's been shared so widely, mm-hmm. you know, because she put it out on Twitter and people were just sharing, oh, yeah. sharing, sharing. So it's mm-hmm. made its way kind of around the world. Um, Mistletoe Man, did you hear about him? No, see, no, I had, well, I was busy feeding everyone this weekend. Okay. Plus, we had a possible gas, stare, uh, gas scare leak at one store, and then another store had a roof leak, and there was a flood. So we, wow. were, we were a tad busy. So I, was, I did not spend a lot of time <laughs> you know, poking around the ye olde web because of other crap I was dealing with. But uh, both stores are open. It was not a gas leak. So that was fine. That's oh, good. Oh, took an hour and a half for Center Point to get there. Emergency, my ass. Okay, can I just say one thing though? If there were a gas explosion in a store covered by insurance, hopefully, of course, please. Yes. And something did go up, and dildos went shooting wildly out of a building. Come on, that and nobody was hurt. That would be funny. Just a little bit. Uh, not my store. No. Okay, but I'm just like I'm just I'm, like, I'm really. It was. It, it, it's it's Friday night. We're closing in half an hour. I don't give a crap if it would have been the middle of the damn day. You know, even though even though it was a good business day, it's a possible gas leak. We get everybody out of the store. They prop the doors open. They go sit in their car. We call. You know, and I don't mm-hmm. the whole thing. But I'm just like. You know, it wasn't uh, probably a dead mouse and they found it, and, you know, because, you know, that's stinky. Oh, that's you bad. Because, yeah. you know, it's near a marsh area over there. And I'm just like, you've got to be, well, like an hour and a half, sir. I, hello. And so I'm up to all hours of the freaking night. Wondering waiting. what's yeah. going to happen. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Well, um, this is great. Another Twitter. Again, Twitter was busy over the weekend and there was some Oh, that's it. See, I, don't, I don't tweet. Yeah. I'm tweet free. They, I, we, I, I don't have a personal tw- uh, uh, Twitter account. We you have don't? One. No, I don't. Too much shit to deal with. But we have a store it one and hard. Megan takes care of that. So Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, this this gal um, was uh, headed, she was, uh, you know, at Heathrow and she saw a guy on one of the trams, the shuttles that takes you because that's a mm-hmm. big oh, yeah. freaking airport. Um, she's, and she tweets and there's a picture of a guy. He had nothing besides a uh, a bouquet of mistletoe, just this huge, and there's a picture of him. And she snapped Mm -hmm. a picture, tweets the picture, and she says, there's a man rushing to Gatwick North Terminal with a bunch of mistletoe and nothing else. And then in caps, she says, some love actually shit is about to go down. (laughs) I love that movie. That's a great movie. I watch it several times. Oh, so funny. And it just makes me giggle. I like the scene where they're in the pond. And they're just, <laughs> you got Colin Firth and the one gal in the... Oh, the, God. The, the and, 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 and she's goes, speaking if, Portuguese yes, and, he's and he's speaking, speaking English. English yeah. And then you got the subtitles and they're, you know, yeah, that just makes me giggle every damn time. Don't disturb the eels. Yeah. I don't oh, want to risk my life for some shit my grandmother, grandmother could have written. written. Yeah, <laughs> back and forth. <laughs> oh, so funny. Mm-hmm. No, that was, that was a, I love that film. Well, so the, it starts this Twitter storm, Colleen, of people going, oh, black, black, you know, cynics, whatever. Well, as it really turned out, it was a guy that was rushing to pick up his girlfriend friend mm-hmm. and um and he and she once he got her they sent because they found out about mm-hmm. it and sent the picture out and so um where i found this it was like you know no. to all the cynics you know thanks for giving us this much needed happy ending but that was kind of cute but he, he does he looks all intense in the mm-hmm. in the shuttle with his his little bouquet oh that's that would be so cute i thought so I do like um i know you know this next story because you sent it to me it involves a snowman would you like to tell well, everybody what happened honestly i have no idea whether it's true or not because the, if you look at the website it has all sorts of um clickbait and all this sort of stuff on it pictures and stuff like that so it could be sort of a uh, an inquirer or, or something sort of a deal but according to <laughs> This is a story. Some guy, I, I I think was you know off, altered something or another. Decided drunk on drunk, his ass, according to the yes, site. Yeah, decided to screw a snowman mm-hmm. to the point where he frost bit and lost his penis. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. Yeah, yeah. And I keep looking at going. I don't know if this is true or not. And I, you know, I'm like, and somehow I. You know, a lot of times I'll go, okay, let's see if I can find it in other sites. Let's see if there's something like that. And I'm like, no, there's just only so much crap I want to show up on my computer that I'm just like, I'm just going to go for the entertainment. And the picture of the guy is hilarious too. Cause I think I, I'm like, when was this picture taken before? I mean, I, it, Oh my God. And then this is like picture of the snowman. Is that the snowman? But the visual in my head is I'm like, 
snow went really? Yeah. I mean, it's cold. Didn't you shrink? I'm like, and then you're drunk. I'm like, <laughs> that's, how did he, that's a really good point. How did he even get it hard? You know, so there was a whole, there were whole, as usual for so me. So many questions. So many questions. And I'm like, and I, and I said, well, you know, I have seen some really nice snowmen, but I have to admit, <laughs> I just haven't really thought 